Hi there. In this quick video, we'll be upgrading this HP ProBook 4540S. So, I will link the original video in the description where uh, I install Windows on this thing and it has, uh, I think, 500 gig standard hard drive and 4 gigabytes of memory which doesn't cut it in uh, 2024 so we are upgrading to ssd and at least 8 gigabytes of memory so to do that uh, flip it around and let me give you a better look before doing anything obviously unlock the battery and get it out of here and for this system is the same unlock mechanism also used for this? That's a bit weird. Oh no, I think this is the one. We need to undo that little guy right there and then it will allow us to... And it actually is showing me something else in there. Another lock. That's weird. But that one is not present, as you can see. What did they do with this particular model? Does it also have some clips or it's expecting us to still... Yeah, I think it's also expecting us to still push on the battery latches to unlock it. <laughs> That's a weird system. Anyway, fully unlocked. But is there anything actually locking? So this one for sure, but we didn't have that screw. And I think that actually this one doesn't contribute to this in any way. Maybe it's for something else. Anyway, yeah, that's a bit weird. What I see here, we have a single memory stick of four gigabyte. right in here so I will check with my friend that owns this laptop if he, he wants uh, to have 8 gigabytes or we buy a second uh, uh, 8 gigabyte stick and have a total of 12 yep that will actually work without issues I will link this in the description it seems that uh, there's a bit of trouble with this particular model and going about above sorry 8 gigabytes of memory uh, some ex actually state uh, um, that <laughs> there was an initial specification that allowed for 16 gigabytes and people were have, uh, having trouble with the system being extremely slow with 16 gigabytes like in not usable slow and uh, was just fine when reverting to 8 gigabytes so HP actually revised the specification and uh, instead of 16, 16 gigabytes as maximum RAM, they state now 8 gigabytes. So uh, yeah, I don't think we are going to try uh, uh, to put more than that. Here it is, I think. Uh, to have max 8 gigabytes and be done with it. And I'm back. Uh, things were simplified. Uh, I have some memory that literally does not to, uh, want to run in uh, another one of my systems. That one is just somehow not really compatible with this. So we are upgrading this to 8 gigabytes and actually using identical sticks, not just throwing something uh, uh, in there uh, and hoping for the best. So we will have two absolutely identical sticks. And yes, the fact that this plastic right here exists makes it really, really challenging to properly ins insert this memory and uh, not damage anything. So be really careful what you are doing. Make sure it's properly inserted. Press it down. Then for the other one, I cannot even see it. Huh, I, did I put it in the upper slot? No, I didn't. It's Yikes, this is one of the weirdest uh, uh, laptops to upgrade in terms of memory. Just doesn't seem to be, to be going in there. 
Or is it? No, it's not in there. What? So this is the area. Ah, the angle wasn't that proper. Hey, yikes. I don't like this at all, but anyway, it's in there. And now undo four screws to get the old drive out. As you could maybe see, having a screwdriver that's non-magnetic it's good for electronics, uh, but many times I consider it even worse for electronics because you have a high chance of uh, dropping screws where they shouldn't be dropped. You could see how hard it was for me to, to get them out of there. So now this is out. Unhook this from here. Man, this is next level. I haven't seen anything like this in other laptops at this level. I've seen similar things, but not like this. So this is the original Hitachi drive. We'll be putting this uh, in an external enclosure. So my friend will continue to use this as a, an external drive. And uh, I will link a video in the description where I use a similar enclosure for one of my hard drives. Now we only need to undo other four screws that are on the side connecting this hard drive to its caddy but they are extremely tight honestly unexpectedly tight okay and it's done at this point take this thing out ah come on and we need to put the SSD in, remember the orientation and where the plug needs to be the connector to put the SSD in the same position. Let's get the drive out of there. As 99% of SSDs, uh, it's plastic. Oh, this one is actually sealed. I haven't seen lots of seals on SSDs to, to tell you the truth. I'm not used to seeing it and my daughter's arguing in the background. So, uh, yeah, let's put this in place of the old drive itself. Just slide it in here. Not sure where the camera cut off, daughters were arguing and I got called downstairs to <laughs> settle things. So, uh, ooh. And they have double, so ah, I think for thicker drives maybe they use these holes. But this is a thin drive. Uh, oh, and even here it's double. So it's a thin drive, and we are using. I said we are using that and uh, that. Ooh, that's nice, cute little thingy. Spare part. No, I don't care about your spare part. HP. I'm sorry. So I put the four screws in, the silver ones, and I just realized HP made it so that you slide it in there, drop it, and then slide it. And probably they want you to pull on this. Uh, ain't that nice, but it sucks. Better for me to push it from the end anyway. And put this back. Nice HP. Yeah, nice attention to details that really don't matter. Anyway. That's that. At least the laptops from this era are upgradable compared to newer ones when RAM is soldered and the drives are uh, uh, really hard to access and stupid stuff like that. So, three more screws to put in the corners. Hey. 
At this point, memory is already in, SSD in, slide this thing on, put the battery in there, lock it, and we are done. We can power on this thing and put Windows 11 on it. I'm going to boot from this Windows 11 uh, install drive. I'm not going to show the process of installing Windows 11 on this. I will link another video in the description where I actually showed that when I did it on the hard drive and I saw how slow that drive was. So now I'm doing on an SSD with eight gigabytes of memory instead of four. So it should, should go much, much, much faster and Windows will uh, activate by itself because it recognizes this computer from its motherboard. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that and get back to you. And yes, if you're wondering, all of these drivers are still on HP website for Windows 10 and they work perfectly for Windows 11. I must tell you that this laptop is running extremely well with an SSD and 8 gigabytes of memory. And this particular SSD seems to be handling really well uh, being inside of this laptop and we get really nice speeds up uh, until now. But uh, let's wait until the end of the test. But overall this laptop is flying. Honestly, <laughs> it's a bit even better than I expected. So yeah, it's almost done. This thing is flying. 8 gigabytes and a good SSD on this laptop, it will be used for many years to come, honestly. Even if it's just an i3, it can still handle uh, office jobs and browsing on the internet without any issues whatsoever. This SSD is gold and memory at least 8 gigs. But in this one, you cannot put more than 8 gigs, so... 8 gigs it is, and Windows 11 activated with the old Windows 8 key, that's the cherry on top. So yeah, that's about it for, for this video. Hope it helps you, in which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos, and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.